To demonstrate you guys through this super fire circular collage effect, let's hop right into it. So opened up in the timeline here, we have the inspo here, this video by Swappa created by Unified Atlantic, go follow him down below. But we're gonna be creating this super, super fire effect here. These are really good if you don't have lots of footage and you need to fill some gaps in the video or just wanna create a cool effect here. Let's hop into what I created here. I used some assets from my Metro Y2K pack that you guys can grab down below. We're doing a buy one, get one free sale right now. If you wanna cop this, you'll get another pack for free, but you don't have to use this as well. So this is what we created here. I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can do this rotoscope with the background here and how you can create sort of a montage like this. And the best part about this is this is a base and you can pretty much turn this effect into anything you want. So we're gonna go ahead and create a new composition here. I'm just gonna keep it 1920 by 1080. And we're going to start with this as our base. So we're going to go into the Lucky Music video here. And with your footage, you basically want to look for clips that you can go ahead and use for B-roll purposes or to put inside of the circles. So I like this um, scene right here. So I'm just going to press Command-Shift-D to cut it. And then I'm going to go ahead and press Command-Shift-D again. We're going to click on it and press Control-C to copy it. And we're going to paste it inside of here. And we're going to bring it to the very beginning, just like so. Now, to create the circle, you want to go up here, and if it's a square, you just click and hold on it and drag to the circle. So click and hold, go to the ellipse tool, and I'm just going to go ahead and circle this entire thing just like so. Now that we have the circle, I'm going to go ahead and click on our selection tool. You can click on V or you can move it around just like that. And we're going to press S, scale it down. We're going to have this one come in right here. So we have our first one, and you can go ahead and turn off the audio for that. We're going to go back into it and find a few more clips now. Say we like this money montage command shift d to cut and we're going to go through and command c command v look for it we're going to bring it over and do the exact same thing you want to do this with like three or four clips so i'm just going to do this and we can cut to later on once we have them in the video all right so we have our three main clips you guys can see uh, we'll have them come in and you kind of want to create like a staircase so they'll come in and we're gonna have our one main clip here. So to do the main clip, you wanna look for like a good frame of Lucky or whoever it is in the music video you wanna do. So let's say like this is a good frame of Lucky right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and press Command C on this, bring it in just like we did for the other ones. And I'm gonna bring it to the front, just like so. And I'm just gonna extend this one. We'll see how far it goes before it cuts off. Cool, now that we have this, I'm just gonna scale ahead and scale it in. And we're gonna double click on it before we do that, actually, we're just gonna duplicate it. So press Command D. And we're gonna double click on the top one. And we're gonna click on our Rotobrush tool at the top. And we're basically gonna draw Lucky out of the background here. I recommend you guys take a little bit more time on this, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna do a pretty rush Rotobrush on them. So once we have our rotor brush done, we're gonna go back into our composition here. Before we do anything else, we're gonna go to the bottom layer. We're gonna turn it back on. And now we're gonna draw the ellipse circle around Lucky, but we're gonna draw it above him. We're gonna press V. We're gonna move it uh, there. And now if the background's really dark, we can open up Lumetri Color and drag and drop it on the second clip where the circle is. Go into basic correction and just turn up the exposure here so it becomes a lot brighter. And we're gonna hold Command, click on both of these, right click, and pre-compose them and make sure you have these two settings on and then we're going to bring them in just like that and create a staircase and i'm going to turn this one off here and then we're going to scale it up and move it to the side just like that and then if it cuts off too early we can just duplicate it drag it uh just like here instead of having it repeat we can right click on it go over to time right here and then reverse it just like that let's say we want uh we'll have it end right about here so we're gonna zoom out drag the second one all the way here and line it up with here super super fire there guys so to create the white background you want to right click go over to new and then create a new solid and just make it white. You can make it any color you want. I think white looks really clean. 
and now that looks super fire there guys if you want to add a little bit more you know motion to these what you can do is click on them press r on your keyboard to bring up the rotation go to the very beginning of the clip key from the rotation then go to the very end and then i recommend just rotating it like a little bit like that and we're going to do this to all of them here and have them going in opposite directions so I'll have this one go to the right just so we have a little bit of animation to them super super fire and I recommend you guys adjust the timing for all of these just so it's what you want super super fire there guys now we're gonna add some assets to spice it up a little bit inside of my metro y2k pack we have a bunch of assets but some of my favorite ones are the stars here so if you drag and drop them in and then we'll scale them down and we'll put them like right here nice little accents there and then i also really like the dot grid as well here so if you want to change the color of it uh search up tint and then drag and drop that on and i just turn the white to black here and then we'll put this behind everything and then we will then adjust it here where we want it and we'll have it come in like here we'll have it come in last or we can have it at the beginning. Super fire there, guys. And that's how you create this circle montage effect. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure to leave a like. And check out our buy one, get one free sale we're having as well over on our website. It works up to an unlimited amount of time. So if you guys want to get some free editing packs before the new year, now is the time to do so. Thank you, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.